hello everyone welcome to my your programming club today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is sum of all subsets xor totals okay so you will be given an array okay and uh, you have to return the xor total of all the subsets okay so what is the xor total of a subset uh, it is basically when you xor all the elements of that subset uh it is that uh you can say entity okay so for example let's try to understand it with the help of an example or uh, it will be easier for us to first of all uh, go through this problem statement and then take one example and try to understand it okay so the xor total of an array is defined as the bitwise xor of all the elements okay or zero if the array is empty okay so this is what the xor total is okay, let's say an array is provided to you okay and it is having some elements a b c d then the xor total of this array let's say a r r is nothing but xor of a b c and d okay so this is the xor total so let's say if the array would have been an empty array so in that case xor total would have been zero okay so this is what the problem statement is saying uh, till now and then uh, proceeding further it is uh, given that it is uh, you know they are giving an example for making you understand how xor total is to be calculated just like i did in the uh, on the board okay so similarly if the given array is having elements 2 5 6 then xor total will be 2 xor 5 xor 6 okay which is equal to 1 okay so given an array nums return the sum of all the xor totals for every subset of nums okay and those of you who do not know what a subset is an array is a subset of array another array let's say an array a is a subset of another array b if a can be obtained from b by deleting possibly some or zero elements from the b okay so if let's say this is the array that is given to you okay and we decide to delete this element and generate a subset so the subset will be acd so this is a valid subset okay or this one will also be a valid subset if we do not delete anything at all okay this whole array but a valid subset cannot be something like okay i think uh, you will be able to understand just from this example the we will make zero or possibly some uh, deletions in the original array and try to generate all the subsets so this is what the problem statement is saying here and uh, yeah so we have to return the sum and uh, let's have a quick look at the you know constraints of all these subsets okay xor total sums okay so let's say a subset is generated then we have to find xor total for that subset and then we have to sum all the xor totals that can be obtained by all possible subsets of the given array okay and then return that given then array nums return the xor sum of all the xor totals of every subset of nums okay subset with same element should be counted multiple times 
ओके तो देर मे बी सम केसेस दैट देर कैन बी सर्टेन डुप्लीकेट्स इन द गिवन आर ए फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कैन इन कैन बी आ केस लाइक ए बी बी एन सी 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 एंड देन डी तो यू कैन सी दीज एलिमेंट्स आर रिपीटेड तो वेन यू जनरेट ऑल द सबसेट्स ऑफ द गिवन दिस गिवन अरे देर विल बी सम सबसेट्स विल बी एग्जैक्टली इक्वल तो यू शुड काउंट दैम मल्टीपल टाइम्स दैट इज वॉट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज सेंग हियर ओके एंड एज पर द कंस्टेंट्स लेंथ विल बी ऑफ ऑर्डर ट्वेल्व ऑफ द गिवन अरे एंड एलिमेंट्स विल बी रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू ट्वेंटी तो दीज आर द टू कंस्टेंट्स now uh, you may observe that you know since we have to somehow get all the subsets and uh, the constraints are also pretty manageable uh, 10 raised to power 2 raised to power well you can say can be the number of subsets okay so each element is for each element we are basically having two choices for each element of the array two choices either to take that element into the subset or exclude that either to take it or exclude it from the current subset that we are forming so how many number of choices in total 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and this thing will continue and maximum number of times it can be 2 raised to power 12 okay and then if you you know want to if you let's say have generated a certain subset then you also want to uh, get a total xor so it will again take you one iteration so this is just for generating all subsets and then you want to get total xor of each subset that will additionally you know cost you some linear time complexity so in order in overall you can say your number of operations will be of this order okay so let me write clearly on the next slide So twelve into two raised to power twelve. Okay, so let's try to calculate this one. I think it will be of somewhere around ten raised to five order. But for the sake of clarity, let's try to calculate it. So two raised to power. Okay, I think. Okay, yeah, anyhow, uh, I think it will be, or we can use Google also. Two raised to power twelve into twelve. Okay, so it is this number, forty nine thousand one hundred fifty two. Okay. so as you can see these will be the number of operations in worst case okay so just to give you an idea so these number of operations are very much less than the operation limit that is there of 10 raised to power 8 operations okay so it was around 4 into 10 raised to power 5 something okay as you can see here and uh, yeah for for even lesser than that 10 raised to power 4 you can say anyways it is well understood that th this is lesser so your solution will be accepted 
just applying brute force will be sufficient to solve this problem and uh, we then uh, must think of a way to generate a subset okay so one of the ways to do it is bit masking okay so what you do in bit masking is For all the indices 0 to let's say 11, we are taking a max size array that can there be. You will be essentially having two choices either to take this index element or not. Okay, so it can, can be represented by turning on and off this bit position in a binary number. Okay, so let's say 0th bit. To 11th bit represents the index states. So, in a 32 bit integer, all the indices configurations can be easily you know represented. So, this is what bit masking is. We are trying to you know represent indices as bits in a 32 bit integer and since the number of bits that are required to be used up in order to represent all the possible configuration or subsets is very conveniently uh, less than 32 bit which is 12 bits only from the 0th bit to the 11th bit okay so if let's say the zeroth bit is set in the current mask so we will be generating some masks okay so masks are nothing but integers let's say in current integer is uh, what should i say 7 okay then the zeroth bit since it is a odd number is uh, obviously set in 7 so if the zeroth bit is set it means that you have to take the zeroth index in the current subset okay it is very straightforward and let's say uh, also if there is some arbitrary integer that is being represented at the current mask and it's by in its binary representation let's say the second bit is also set okay uh, second bit is also set and zeroth bit is set so these two bits are set so you will take the zeroth index and the second index okay uh, it is that simple it means that whatever bit is set in the current mask you will take that index in the current subset that's all and uh, along with that you will keep generating your total XOR which is nothing but total XOR of all the elements that will be in the subset okay so let's have a quick look at the implementation and then you will be able to understand how things are working out here okay and if you are more interested on bit masking and want to have an article to read from on bit masking so i will try to find uh, one and i will mention the link of that article in the description of the video you can find it out find out more about bit masking in that article okay and now without further delay let's quickly discuss the coding part this is the coding part we will be generating some index masks which will be representing the no indices that we will be you know taking in the current subset so this is for generating subset now once you have generated the subset then you will like to find out the total XOR or current subset XOR okay so this is the condition actually that will be telling you whether to include the current index element in the current subset or not so what you are doing is you uh, firstly you are taking one and then you are left shifting it 
by index number of times okay then you will be generating something like let's say the index is 2 then let's say initially things were like that this is the 0th bit this is the first bit this is the second bit and this is the third bit now you shifted it to two places left shifted it to two places so this one will come here and it will look something like this okay so this is the zeroth bit first bit second bit and third bit okay and let's say there is a current mask that is representing the current subset uh, let the mask be something like uh, 1011 1. okay and when this is the zeroth bit this is the first bit this is the second bit and this is the third bit so when you do a end of these two which two uh, these two this one and this one when you do a end it will be 0 1 0 0 this is zeroth bit first bit second bit and third bit so this is what you will get so it is obviously uh, not equal to zero it means that you will come to know that okay you have to include the element present at this index in the current subset and it will be contributing to current subset xor okay then you will include it into the current subset xor and uh, again you will be having one variable that you will be returning from this function total xor that total xor will have some of all the subset xors that are there and at last you will return it so the, it is that simple this is for generating subsets this is for generating subsets from the mask along with uh, getting the value of current subset xor okay so this is the implementation and i have already told you the time complexity and space complexity wise we it is constant extra space since we are not using any extra space okay these masks are nothing but integers only so space complexity wise it's constant okay so this is how we will be solving this problem if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section i hope this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of owning your dss skills and uh, till then keep solving problems and keep practicing i will see you in the next video thank you for watching